Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to The Infected. And I was taken off guard by the winter. All my plants died, but I did bring them back in here. I do have uh, seeds to replant them all, so that's not really a big deal. And I also have the furnace, and it's going. Uh, the coal burner, and it's going. So we will be nice and toasty warm for the winter. The winter's actually going to help me, because check this out. Remember I had to go all the way over there for water in that lake? Well, that lake's frozen, right? So now all I have to do is go right here. I like, I love the winter. I wish it was snowing all the time. It makes getting water so much freaking easier. Oh my goodness, I love that. So we're just going to make this, sure this thing's full of water. Um, The only problem I'm seeing right now with food is um, carbs. I've got four veggie salads. Should be pretty good. Um, I've got the melon ready to go. You know what? I should plant another... Uh, I should plant another watermelon because I actually have two melons that are ready to go. And that should take me pretty much through the winter for carbs. The winters aren't that long, so I'll go ahead and throw some dirty water in there. And we do have uh, two of these melons. One of them is going to be gone relatively soon, 47 minutes. I think I can get that one taken care of in 47 minutes and then we'll get taken care of the other one. I do have a good amount of protein out here on the drying rack. You know, we'll see how things go. I think I'm going to be okay, but, you know, you never know. Uh, right now, I am working on iron for iron ingots. And I'm going to use iron ingots to make, well, like everything, right? Uh, I need I need three more extractors. I need one on cobalt, aluminum, and copper before I can even think about really making anything of any, like, seriousness. Also, I was talking last episode about what is the point of having this extractor on iron right because you get more iron from leaving it on stone facts right the problem is in order to make steel you need this thing you need iron ore a full block of iron ore and you won't get it with stone so well that's a really good reason to have that you know on iron uh the thing is though i think i'm gonna head to the ca i was thinking about heading to caves to get my iron but yeah i'm gonna head i'm gonna head to the caves to get my iron ore all right, but today, what we're going to be doing right now is we are going to be um, getting ready for Horde Night. And after Horde Night, we are going to go to the Croc area and we are going to try and get our bag expanded. Now, I do want to, because it's winter, it's really good to go hunt Crocs in the winter because the um, all the water is frozen over. But it's bad to hunt Crocs in the winter because if you get a blizzard, you, you, you know, you could be in a bad spot, right? I do have snow pants and a winter coat, which is good, but that's not going to save you from a blizzard. So what I'm going to do is I want to build a little cabin out there. It's going to be like, uh, it's just going to be a one by one, you know, just a one cabin uh, and that's it. And all I need is 25 rocks and one of these coal, right? Yeah, 25 rocks and a coal should be good enough for me to, uh, you know, run into a little cabin if, if worse comes to worse. So what I'll do is I'll come over here. And I'll make a little cabin, like right here, and then I'll go hunt crocs. And if I get a blizzard, I'll have somewhere to go. Uh, yeah, that, that should work out really nicely. I'm going to need more stone. Thankfully, uh, my thingy over there is producing a lot of stone for me, so that's good. All right, we need to put these over here. Somebody was making comments that I was wasting my iron ingot on this thing. And maybe, but I really like I really like the ease of putting things in and taking them out. Although, it's just as easy to take them in and take them out of this. So, but with this, you have to open it up. So, I, I don't know. Yeah, I probably did waste an ironing on that. I'm okay with that. I will uh, I will take full responsibility for that. And um, that's fine by me. All right. So, we are overheating. So, we do need to take our jacket off. All right. So, there we go. And what do I need for the, for the, for the clothes hanger? Because I'd really like to get that. Let me take a look at that really quick. Ugh, five ironing and some screws. Yeah, that's not going to happen. All right, so you're doing good on water. You're okay. We need to keep these two growing, and I need to work on spikes, and then we're going to head on out. And um, Well, we're not going to head on out. We're going to deal with the Horde Knight, and then after that, we're going to head on out. So, all right, let's get some work done. Man, you come into a game thinking you're going to get this done, you're going to get that done, and, man, like, you could tell a good survival game when you can't get it all done. Like, but you're close. Like, it's not like you're, it's impossible. You're just, it's really close. You just, you're just not getting it all done, but you're so freaking close. Um, all right, so I did go ahead and use that one melon that was going to go bad for fruit salad, so that's great. And I have another one here that should be ready before anything else goes wrong. And I'm trying to get some spikes done, but I'm also trying to get iron going. And I haven't even taken this over and emptied that thing out. That thing might be, like, almost full of rocks. I got to make sure I have 25 rocks, though, to take out to the, um, 
uh, you know, to the the cabin. I don't know what you would, I don't know what you would call it. Uh, it's basically a croc hunting cabin. Yeah, the croc hunter. Yeah, the croc hunter. I need to have 25 stone out there. I could probably break stone in the area, but why would I want to, you know, we should count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right. Now, I probably could break stone out there, you know, and just, you know, use the rocks in the area, but why waste valuable croc hunting time? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I should also build a bed out there, shouldn't I, in case I get caught out there during the night, because a blizzard could easily have me caught out there during the night. So, yeah, I should probably do a bed as well. I don't remember what a bed takes. Well, whatever. I'll figure out what the bed takes, and I will make sure I have it all ready to go when the time comes. So we're going to cook up the rest of these stone. All right, so we have one left. We'll just put it in there for good luck. Put this stuff on my wasted rack. <laughs> and put this up here. All right, so now it's just, a, it's just a matter of doing spikes. So I think I'm in okay shape. You know, we'll see. That remains to be seen. Okay, well, let's take a look around the base. I've got two rows of spikes around the entire thing. I'm not going to run because for some reason I, I have no stamina. Probably because I just ran around it. But yeah, two full sets of spikes around the entire thing. Should be pretty decent. I'm going to work on something at the entrance to kind of like give me some kind of advantage. Because if like a few of them come in at the entrance, it kind of like negates the whole thing. Well, not really. It filters them in to an area where I can stab them. But I'm going to see if I can think of something better to do at the entrance. Uh, so it's not just open like this. But, yeah, that's what I'm working with so far. And here we are on Horde Night. Okay, so, I don't know, this is the best I could think of. So I'm just going to kind of hang out up here, I guess. And I could get up here, no problem. Um, I'm thinking they might be able to get up here, no problem either. But I just figured it'd be something I would try. Oh, another thing I want to do is make more arrows. Crap, I forgot about that. Alright, that shouldn't be too bad. I've got this thing all ready to go. I've got enough rocks in there for a forge, for, um, for warmth. I am going to put that in there as well. Let's get rid of this. All right, I've got a bunch of planks in there. I've got enough planks to build a, you know, I, I realized I had to bring planks. I don't want to make a saw table over there, especially when this one's so good. Uh, so I decided to bring the planks with me. I've got more planks than I'm going to need, I think. And um, I should be able to make a little, like, thing over there. Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't remember the planks for the bed. All right, well, that's all the planks I can hold, so I guess I'm kind of... Well, I can hold the planks on me. The bed takes eight. I think I need 34, 36, and I have 10. I might have... I might be one plank short. Oh, that's going to suck. All right, I'm, I'm going to get... I'm going to grab one more plank. All right, you. There we go. Something going on over here. All right, how about anything over here? You okay? You dead? I don't really see anybody. I don't hear anything. Two two uh, Vambies are already gone. And sounds like the spikes are doing their job. That's it. Wow. Okay. Two rows of spikes. I don't think we lost one. Because usually when you lose one, it goes, you know, like you hear it crash. But yeah, man, that's oof. that's good because I'm going to need some extra time to make arrows. I want to head out as soon as the daylight's here, you know. I'd also like to get a little bit more sleep, too. Hey, now. What are you doing? You're not supposed to be here. Well, okay. That's kind of weird. You dead? Yeah, you're dead. All right. Ooh, four nails. Not bad. So, all right. This 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 defense is pretty good. That's, that's awesome. So now I can concentrate on ex expanding the base. Yep. Love it. Love it. Let me get inside and let me do my final preparations for the croc hunt. All right. It's now January. And we are almost to the building spot. I'm going to go pretty close. I don't imagine the crocs go too far out of that area. So I'm going to get pretty close. Um, that way I could run back in if uh, if a blizzard hits. I'm, I hope I've got everything I need. I'm, <laughs> I won't know for sure until I actually build it. But I'm pretty sure I got everything I need. We will see. Um, that's pretty close. How about we build the cabin... Right here seems pretty good. It doesn't have to be super close. Um, I'm wondering how if we can get any closer. Eh, it's close enough. Let's just build it right here. All right, so I'm going to need a foundation. And we're going to lower it. I don't care if there's grass on the floor. It, well, I kind of do, actually. But I'm going to just deal with it. 
Uh, you know what? If you build it right here, there shouldn't be any grass on the floor. It doesn't look like it. I'm, I'm being very minimalistic with this thing, you know? Like, this is going to be bare bones. I won't even come back here again. You know what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll get what I need from the Crocs. I'll never come back here. So, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. So, there we go. So, let's go ahead and build this thing. Didn't take that long. I now have a place to sleep through the night if I have to. This thing should keep me warm for the night. I actually put a thing of coal in there. So, we should be good to go, I'm hoping. You know, I didn't think about, like, thirst and stuff before I came out here. So, that's going to be fun. Um, we do have some clean water left. Uh, we could use uh, vitamins. You know what? I'm going to hold off on the vitamins because if I get hit by any crocs, I'm going to want to save the vitamins um, to heal myself. So, And you guys are going to find out. Now, I went through a, a, a lot of headaches here. I need feathers, by the way. Come on. Stop moving. Am I going to get them? I got them. So you're going to find out why I went so far out of my way. To set this up the way I am. Because if you come in here like any other time of year. Uh, and the water's not like. Here hold on. Let's, let's melee this guy. And the water's not frozen. It's such a pain in the butt. To get these crocs. But it's like taking like. Imagine a swamp. And then taking every piece of water that's in the swamp. And turning it into a solid surface. I mean. You know. Much much better to do it this way. And take these things seriously because they are no joke. And he's actually going to be giving them more hit points and doubling their damage in the next update. So if you're playing this, <clears throat> you know, in the future or anything, be even more careful. And uh, if you're in the future, why don't you send me the lottery tickets for next week's uh, lottery, please. That would be awesome. <laughs> All right. Where are these freaking things? They're pretty ginormous. Can't really miss them. Although apparently I am. I probably could have made my base a little closer. You know, it's another thing too. Can I mark my base? I just know it's in this area. I'd be. I. I think we should be able to put uh, like map markers on there, so you know we can mark our bases and stuff. There we go. See, imagine if this was all water. Okay, I think I'm gonna need eight of these, by the way. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of meat, too. You know what? Why don't I go get my um, my little cart thingy? I had way more planks than I needed, so I just went ahead and made another another chest. Because my chest actually had stuff in them. And I think more of an empty chest would be better. So, let's go ahead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to need eight of these skins. Back in the day, like, I don't know. I guess we could always bring chests out here. But if you didn't bring a chest, you'd have to make two trips. need those birds all right you're dead arrow arrow oh man right under his eye that's just brutal all right and there's another one let's let's move this thing up uh yeah this this skin's really heavy too i'm gonna double check before i do anything else and make sure we we need a now we're looking for the bag expansion here. I guess I didn't say that, but we're looking to expand our bag. Um, Itempedia right there. Croc skin eight. Okay, there you go. And uh, you know this is something you're gonna want to do as early as possible, for sure. You know once you feel like you've got. Honestly, I would I would say if you're playing this game the way I'm playing it, you know pretty much default settings. I would say the two things you want to worry about before the Crocs is make sure you have Horde Knight solidified. And make sure you're ready for winter. If you've got both of those down, then you come over here and get some crocs. And I would suggest making an outpost, even if you're not going to do it in the winter. Because I have a feeling maybe not enough crocs will spawn. You might have to wait another day or two. I don't know, maybe. I, I think last time I did this, I had enough crocs in one trip. But still, doesn't hurt to have a, you know, have another outpost, right? All right. There we go. We're almost halfway there. You, like I said, could you imagine if this was water I'm standing in? We're going to let him come to us a little bit to get him away from his buddy. That looks good. And the last one. Four arrow shots. Although it's going to cost more later when he upgrades their hit points. Okay, come on, buddy. 
three. I'll wait for him to get close to me for the fourth, so I don't have to run so far. Oh, crap. I guess it depends if you hit him in the head as well. Obviously. All right. And I think these only stack in fours. Oh, no. They stack in more than four. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Three more. I definitely should have made my um, outpost closer. No doubt about that. That's one little little hiccup. Not not a huge deal. Okay, I'm not seeing anybody. I hunted these guys once. In without like, without the um, the swamp being iced over. I hunt, I hunt these guys once when the when the swamp is not iced over, and it was a nightmare. <laughs> it really was. Crocs are no joke, man. They're like freaking dinosaurs, right? Aren't they older than dinosaurs? I think I think our crocodiles are older than dinosaurs. But it's the same thing. Big scary freaking nut job lizard gonna try and freaking eat your face. I mean, I think I think we can all understand the fear, you know? Um These are a five, six, two more. That the that is a um really good enemy to put in a game, Crocs. They're pretty scary and uh oh boy. They're pretty scary in Green Hell as well. Because in Green Hell, they'll like one-shot you. Well, they used to. I don't know. If, I think they changed that. Yeah, in Green Hell, if a croc like got you, you were done. You Sometimes you wouldn't even see it. And you'd just be dead. And the game would tell you, yeah, croc ate you. No big deal. Okay, like so. This is going to be a really cool thing because it's going to give me a lot of meat too. Although I don't have the drying racks for all the meat, but I'll make do. I guess I can make more drying racks. Okay, and this is the last one. What time is it? Oh, I got time to get home, too. Depending on what time I like, am ready to actually leave, I might just stay the night here. I mean, I built the outpost. Why not use it, right? And there you go. Oh, it stacks in fives. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Do you need to do that on a work table or something? I might be able to do it here. Uh, oh, the loom. Okay. That's right. You guys are telling me about the loom. See? The loom was a good find. Here I was trashing it. I know. It's just not exactly what I wanted. Hold on. I think I'm going to spend the night here. Just because I... What the hell? Wait, really? The fudge. Oh, he's hitting a tree. Well, at least I got all three of them back. That would have pissed me off, man. I'm losing all those freaking arrows. I'm trying to shoot this thing to get more feathers, more arrows. And here I am throwing arrows away. And I just decided to come home tonight. By the way, when is next Horde Night? 16? So, day 15, we have to start worrying about it. Okay, fair enough. I'm trying to figure out when I want to go back to town. Because I definitely want to go back to town and get that advanced workbench. But I don't really see the point. Well, yeah, there is a point in getting the advanced workbench. Because I can, I can make bow and arrows at that point. Uh, so that is a really good thing. So I will probably do a town run. I don't know. Well, you know what? I don't like to do town runs during winter. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. If I don't do a town run next video, it'll be the video after. But let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff. All right. And let's grab these out of here. And then what did it say? Two rope. Sounds good to me. And let's upgrade the bag. Okay. Two rope. And oh boy. Now, here's the thing about the bag. Um, I can also carry more weight. But also, I think the food bag should be raised as much. as just as much. Right? That makes sense, doesn't it? But, eh, it's alright. Can't have everything. Alright, let's go ahead and eat that. Let's drink that. Drink that. That isn't dirty, is it? It's clean. Good. Drink that. Let's eat some proteins. Uh, am I hot? Yeah. Ugh. This freaking jacket. Well, now I can at least take the jacket off easier. Because <laughs> I have a much bigger bag. Alright. Where did I put all the meat? There it is. Oh my goodness. Go this meat. Okay. So, eat that. That. And then we're going to take... Oh god. What am I going to do with all this meat? Am I, am I going to make another drying rack? I have the stove. Honestly, I should be... Uh, the stove costs a lot of iron. I don't... No, I can't do anything else till I get more extractors up. We got to get that iron flowing. That's my number one goal right now. So let's go ahead and switch these out. We're going to put these in here. I'm going to make another drying rack. 
Um, I think tomorrow, not next video, but tomorrow, I'm going to do it in this video. We're going to head back to the caves because I'm going to use the caves to get the iron ore I'm going to need uh, for the steel. Because I'm going to need steel. Here, check this out. Um, first of all, what do I need for these? Uh, iron, aluminum, lead. Okay, so I got everything I need for that. I don't need anything else. So I need a lot of it. <laughs> In order to make this wind turbine, like, really, I have to get some extractors up on aluminum. There's no doubt about that. Um, so that's that. But the wind turbine is something I really want. And the other thing I want more than anything else is this right here, the oil extractor. Now, again, aluminum. I mean... <sighs> You're gonna need, you're gonna need this, the copper for screws, but I've got enough copper. Honestly, I'm thinking like an extractor or two for aluminum at this point. That's what I'm thinking. Um, what do I need for mechanical parts? I know I need the advanced workbench for mechanical parts, but let's see what kind of uh, resources I need for it. Mechanical parts, advanced workbench, iron. Okay. So you know what? I think an extractor or two on aluminum and the advanced workbench and we could get the oil extractor up. It'll take some time, but I think we can do that. So that is my um, my next goal for sure, for sure. Okay, let's see what it takes to make the um, the drying rack. I might make another one. Yeah, all right, one iron ingot. Yeah, sure, why not? I, I just, I don't like the idea of all that meat going to waste. Although, although I haven't any problems of protein and if that meat goes to waste, I can use the biofuel to power the machines. I really haven't had a problem with protein. Well, the thing is, you don't have a problem with protein until you do, right? Ugh, tough call. All right, I went ahead and made another extractor. And when I was making the extractor, I realized why everyone says they put their second extractor on copper. And the reason everyone puts their second extractor on copper is because it takes 20 screws. That's two, that's two copper. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's something. And if you want to produce these things... You gotta, you know, you gotta, the main thing is to get these things humming. All right, so I'm gonna put it on copper first. The second one will definitely go on aluminum. I'll probably put two on aluminum or maybe two on iron and then one on aluminum. I'm not really sure yet. I'm just gonna have to kind of say. So we're gonna run all the way over to the copper and um, let's see if we have the, yeah. Get out of here, you stupid wolf. There you go, that's what you get. Okay, let's go ahead and take care of that. And we're looking, okay. Let's go ahead and save the game too. So we're going to run over here and place this bad boy down over there and start getting copper. Um, I mean, I still have a few copper. I guess I don't have this. You need copper for a lot of things, but I don't know if I'm going to need copper for a lot of things right away. I really should study exactly what I'm going to need, but I'm just going to put it down copper because, you know, you study a game too much, it starts to feel like homework. I'm just, I know I need copper. Let's just put it down. And I should have enough iron relatively quickly to get something down on aluminum as well. Um, cobalt. I don't remember what I'm going to need cobalt for. So I guess the bottom line is we need a lot of effing extractors. <laughs> a lot of extractors. I think I'm also going to hit the cave after this. And I did not bring my cart. I was going to bring my cart with all the boxes on it so i could carry everything out of the caves the thing is that the the stone respawns in the cave so i need to be carrying back like 50 million lead right um i'm gonna want to carry back some lead but what i'm really looking for is iron and i need i think eight iron ore to make steel and then once i can make steel then that's what i'll need for the oil extractor and we're just one step closer i don't really need the advanced work table no i do need the advanced work table for the um for the oil extractor, I think. I don't remember what for, though. Stuff gets confusing after a while. All right. So we're going to just put this out here. All right. And I could gather up the copper before I go, but I'm not going to. Because I'll do that, I'll do that another time. I really want to hit that cave. All right. So there you go. Power on. And that's going to give us copper. Beautiful. All right. Oh, cave's right here. Cool. Yeah, I really want to hit that cave. I want to get it. Um, let's take a look really quickly, really quickly. All right. So for the oil extractor, I'm going to need six mechanical parts. I don't have it. The thing is I'm planning to go raid the town. Well, when I leave the town, I'm going to have the, I'm, I'll probably have the, the mechanical parts I need, but I'll also have the verse advanced workbench. So we're going to need six steel ingots, which means we're going to need six iron ore. Now I know what you're thinking. Okay. Just get as much iron ore as you can. The problem is it takes a while to get the iron ore. I have not had a lot of, um, I have not had a lot of uh, success 
you know, my rate of success is uh, pretty low. So, yeah. I will get six, and then I will go. All right, so I came back with a really good amount of lead, and I got the... I got exactly what I needed from the iron. So let's just drop all the lead in here we can. Take that out. Almost filled that up with lead. I don't know where I'm going to put the rest of this stuff. I guess I'll just put it up here for now. All right, so how, how do we make steel? Can I do it right now? I'd like to just make the steel because I don't want to accidentally use this iron by mistake. So resources, steel. Yeah, and the anvil. Okay. All right, cool. And that'll give us something to do with the extra uh, lead as well. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Are we going to need five steel alloy to make one ingot? Son of a... That is... Eh, they're not stacking. I don't think, that, I don't think that's going to be the case. Because I was going to say that would be ridiculous. Oh, let's see. I'd like to actually cook this stuff up. That stuff will be ready soon, and then we'll cook it up. And then I'm not going to go to the town during the winter, but I'm thinking that March next month, I think we'll be okay uh, to hit up the town next episode and get the rest of our tech. Um, we should only need three tech. I'm kind of curious. What tech do I need? I know I need the um, advanced work. The chemistry station, yeah, that's important. And the lamp. Yeah, the lamp's pretty cool. I, I will want the lamp eventually, so that is perfectly fine by me. Let's grab, uh, you know what? Let's just do it with stone. All right, here we go. Yep, cool. And that will give us the steel we need. Thank goodness. That really had me scared there. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna need a ton of freaking iron to make this steel. But that is not the case. Um, and as a matter of fact, we have a pretty decent amount of stuff up here to make more iron. Uh, so I'm thinking next, I I'm gonna, I wanna get one extractor up on each resource. The next one will be um, aluminum. The one after that will be cobalt. Then I'll have one on every resource. And then I think, I don't know what I want to do after that. Either I'm going to stack them all up on aluminum because I'm going to need a lot of aluminum, a lot of aluminum, but I'm also going to need this one for iron. So I'm thinking the second one, the, the, the first resource that's going to get two is going to be aluminum. And then once I've done that, I'll put maybe, I'll go up to like four out here. And then we'll take it from there. Either way, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.